So you've just got in from school and you're itching to play the latest updates on your favorite game, Fortnite. But your laptop just doesn't cut it. Well, we're gonna show you how to play Fortnite at 60 FPS at the maximum resolution without changing your hardware. Let's get started. So Will is playing Fortnite on this Intel based graphics laptop and what's your experience like so far? Not so good. Not so good. He's getting about 10 frames per second at max, probably 15 depending on what's on the screen at the time. So the laptop we're using so that you can go and check the specs and I'll put the specs down below in the description so you can see. The laptop itself is really good. It's a Asus TP300L and it also converts into a tablet, which is great. But for gaming, it's not so good. I mean, yeah, of course, you can play it. <laughs> Seems like he's not doing very well. <laughs> uh, I mean, you can I, play it. I just exploded myself with a grenade launch. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, really seems great. our skills are not that great. Um, so the TPL300L, well, my skills are not that great. His might be really, really good. Um, <laughs> they are really good. But anyway, <laughs> back to the video. We are gonna show you how you can play in this example, Fortnite at 60 FPS or higher on the same laptop without upgrading any hardware. And it's all thanks to GeForce Now. You probably heard of this, maybe you haven't actually. Um, it's in open beta, so you can apply and request access to this open beta. So basically it's a game streaming service. Now they have data centers and servers all over the world with huge big servers with huge big graphics cards in them using their very latest Nvidia GPUs. I don't think they're using RTX. That'd be interesting to know if they're gonna change their current GPUs to RTX ones. So basically the way NVIDIA works is that you install the GeForce Now program on your Mac, on your Windows based PC, or you can even do it on Shield TV. You install the software, you sign in using whatever account that you use to create the account for GeForce Now. And from there you have a huge array of games that you can play on Steam, Epic Games, free games. Um, I don't know about Origin Games, possibly Origin Games as well and many other platforms similar to those. And you basically, you sign in using your normal account as you would on your normal PC or desktop or laptop. So the GeForce Now, once you connect, so once you connect and get all of that out of the way, it runs in what I would consider to be some kind of virtual machine. And from there, you sign in using your Steam account or your Epic Games account or whatever the platform is for the particular game that you're trying to play at the time. It's really, really quick and easy to sign in and get up and running. And we're gonna show you some actual footage of us doing just that. But first we're gonna show you how it actually performs now so that we can do a side-by-side -side comparison of what kind of improvement that you can expect when you use GeForce Now. Now I must stress, and Nvidia didn't actually want me to make this video. I, I said I was gonna do it anyway, uh, but they said they, wouldn't, they don't recommend it because it is still in beta, I, must, I can't stress that enough. I did say I was gonna stress that uh, in the video and I can't stress that enough that currently the GeForce oh. Now <laughs> is in beta. So the experience that you get and the experience that we're gonna show you now may not be what it's like when it's fully released. So do bear that in mind um, that what we're about to show you is currently as it that stands may. today and may not be how the final product is going to be. So oh, let's get to it. So while Will is falling down, we're gonna go into the graphic settings. I'm gonna show you what we've currently got it set on and then we're gonna change it to the settings that you would actually need to get a decent frames per second to play the game as it was meant to be. And you're gonna see how really bad it looks. So we're at less than Five frames per second. Wow. Okay, it's gone up to about 15. And now we've 
Frozen. <laughs> Jeez, this is unplayable. So, Will, if you can uh, go to the settings, we're going to show you what we've got it set on now, and then we're going to lower the settings Hello. to show you what you need to set it on to run it properly. Hello. Okay, so if you can go to the menu, Will. So, as you can see there, we've got it on windowed full screen mode because we are screen capturing, so we have to have it on that one so we can out tab out. 1366 by 768 resolution, that is the maximum this screen will do on this laptop. Unlimited frame rate so that you get, wait, so that you can get all the foops. And we are on view distance is fast, shadows high, anti-aliasing high, textures high, effects high, and post-processing high. Yeah, we could lower some of these, which we are gonna do in a second. We've got V-Sync off and motion blur off, no recording, and all that's been turned off. So we're now gonna lower the settings. Oh my to God, show you how nice. bad it would have to look to get decent FPS as the laptop is now. So if you can go back into the settings. As you can see there, look at the quality. Look how bad that actually looks. And we're getting, at some points, we're getting up to 50 FPS. But how bad of a quality does that look to get that kind of frame rate to make the game actually playable? You know, it doesn't look too bad. Maybe it looks like a PlayStation 2 or something like that. Maybe you're used to that and graphic quality isn't that important to you. But for the rest of us, that's why we're here and that's why we're doing this video to show you. So we're now gonna switch over to GeForce Now. I'm gonna show you what kind of experience you can expect. So we're now looking at the GeForce Now experience and as you can see, we're getting a solid, well, actually, look at the frame rate now. Look at that frame rate, okay? We're looking down at the ground and uh, into an area where there's probably not a lot going on. Uh, but look, 300 or so, or 320-ish frames per second. Bearing in mind it is running, uh, well, you can see in the corner there, at the current rate, it's running at uh, 1024 by 576 and set to 60 FPS, obviously, it's doing more than that. Um, we are running this over the Wi-Fi, so this is the kind of experience that you can expect if you're using your laptop and you don't want to plug in. So there you can see that although the, the streamed frame rate from the GeForce Now servers in the EU, um, it keeps fluctuating between the maximum resolution of this screen, 3066 by 768. We're still getting consistent frame rates and that is because of the GPUs they are using in the server machines. Now I'm not entirely sure which particular GPUs they're using. Maybe they're using Volta's or Titan X's or Titan XP's or Titan X Little P or one of those variants. Whatever they're using, it's working and it gives you the experience that you're actually looking for when you want to play these types of games. As I already said, this is beta. It is not fully out yet. You can go on their website and I will put a link in the description down below and you can request beta access. It did take around probably about six months before I got accepted into the beta. So do expect to wait quite a while. I don't know when GeForce Now will be officially released. There are no, uh, as far as I know, there's no ETA. They're just, they're just keeping on adding. I mean, they're still adding games. There's so many games available. Um, I might even show that on the screen now. Um, it's just so many, so many different platforms, so many games, new games are being added. There's free games on there. So, you know, even if you get in the beta and you don't have any of the games that are on the list. Oh, that is one other thing. Um, that wasn't made clear when I first signed up. So I actually had to ask the GeForce Now support team um, why I couldn't play some of the games. And maybe I didn't read some of the text on the website, but you can only play the paid for games if you actually own them on your account. Obviously, because you're logging in using your own account, so your own Steam account, your own Epic Games account, Ubisoft account, <laughs> any one of those. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, you died. <laughs> no, can I tell them what happened? I was running, trying to crawl away really fast. I had Damn. I had a purple uh, epic scar and what else? I had an epic scar, a tactical shotgun, and a double barrel shotgun. I got one kill. 
So here we can see this is the, the, the machine that it's running on, the virtual machine that our, our particular game is running on. And you can see it's set to full screen, obviously it's set to full screen. The resolution that it's actually playing at on the server is 3840 by 2160, uh, obviously 16 by 9, 16 by 9. Frame rate obviously set to unlimited. So as you can see, the quality is set to its custom. Um, we can see the view distance is set to epic, which is you need view distance for games like this, set to epic. Uh, shadows are set to medium. Anti-aliasing is set to high. Texture set to epic, of course. And effects are set to high. And post-processing is set to medium. Please think off, obviously, motion blur is actually on. I would probably turn that off. So let's, let's change some settings on it. Let's turn uh, motion blur off. And let's turn, no, we're not done, no, we're not done. Put everything to epic. And yeah, just leave it on that. And apply. So actually it's running very smoothly, even on the settings that we set up to high. So as, as uh, Will said, we have uh, actually set everything to epic and we're still getting silky smooth frame rate. Obviously it's gone down a low there to about 75. I saw there, but still absolutely playable. Much better than the experience that we were getting when we were playing purely on the laptop. So as an on-demand service, of which there are quite a few others out there uh, that do a similar experience. So as, the, as for a GeForce experience, it really, so far, it, considering it's in beta, it's really, really good. Um, there is literally little or no, I mean, there will be a little bit, but there's literally no noticeable um, input lag at all from keyboard or mouse. It's actually quite astonishing. It's almost like if you were streaming from your home PC to your, to, a, to another device using uh, the streaming built into Steam, for example. It, it's as, as good as streaming locally, but you're not. You're streaming over the internet. So actually, it's very, very smooth, even on a different thing that's running it. The normal Epic Games is running very slow on here. But GeForce is actually running faster and quicker than I expected, so that's a good start. There are some requirements for the GeForce Now um, software. So oh, this is from the NVIDIA website and they recommend that you have an internet connection download speed of at least 15 megabits per second. Um, that is to do 720p at 60fps and 25 meg megabits per second download for 1080p content at, or again, 60 FPS. They do, however, recommend that you use a hardwired connection. Um, obviously, we are not using a hardwired connection, so we're just showing you the experience that the normal average person would expect to find um, if they were just sat on their sofa wanting to play a game. So, obviously, they recommend that you do this on a wired connection if you can and they recommend that the Wi-Fi bandwidth you don't use a 2.4G network as we are using we are actually using a 2.4G network uh, they recommend you use the 5 gigahertz uh, bandwidth and obviously there's a reason for that higher bandwidth faster connection better streaming ability so the, the, you know use 5 gig don't do as we do <laughs> do as we say so obviously the same requirements or similar requirements are for the Mac as they are for PC. It doesn't really matter. It's your internet connection that makes the difference. If you have a really, really slow internet connection, obviously your experience is not going to be quite as good as it should be. Keyboards and mice most apparently will work fine. We haven't tested it with any other keyboards apart from the one built into the laptop and external mice seem to be fine. We're actually using uh, a wireless mouse. And as I've said before, there is literally no input lag or anything uh, that we can notice anyway. You wouldn't notice it from playing on uh, a, a decent local machine as if you were playing over the GeForce Now experience. It's really, it's really good. There are a number of controllers you can use. I mean, you can plug a PlayStation controller into your PC and use that. If you don't have a PC controller, just plug the cable into your PC, it will recognize it you can then use that in the games. It won't work with all games, but it will work with most of them and it does work with Fortnite on a PC. Pretty much anything that supports direct mode uh, from the controller to the direct input mode, that is, from the controller to the PC. Uh, GeForce Now will support that. 
because you can get racing games on it and any kind of that is when you will notice it probably even more than a game like this is that you know you turn that wheel you need to know that when you turn that wheel you're going to go around that bend at that precise moment you turn the wheel you can't have input lag um of to that degree on a racing game so you know it's quite they've, they've invested a lot of time in this by the look of it and it is certainly from my experience and our experience today um definitely definitely worth it so how much is this going to cost when it's fully released well actually we don't know um i have no idea you probably you maybe you know more than me um but i don't know it was most likely be a subscription based service um, which actually, when you compare to things like Origin Access and now their premium, um, which is fourteen ninety nine, I would imagine that this will be um, at a similar price. Bear in mind, this is a one-stop platform for all of your different platforms that you use. So you no longer need to have an amazing PC or an amazing graphics card, especially with the new RTX cards that are coming out. Um, they are so expensive. You know, I can't afford one as a reviewer. Uh, we don't get sent those type of cards. We're not currently big enough. And for that, this is perfect. I can't stress that enough that this is beta and it is completely playable. Completely playable. I mean, there's so many different games that you can play on this. And I mean, look at the, just look at the, look at it. Just look at it. So that about wraps up our look at the GeForce Now experience. The video NVIDIA didn't want us to make. I think they're silly, really. Um, basically because it's actually really good and they should let people do videos. I mean, there are tons of other people have done videos on it, so I don't see why they said, no, you can't do a video on it. So we're gonna do it. We've done it. This is it. What are you gonna do, huh? So if you wanna support the things that we do and you want us to make more great content, then please do check the links down below. You can support us on Patreon. Um, you can enter your own amount if you want to support us monthly. You don't have to support us monthly. You can just do a one-off. Anything that you can give will help us keep doing what we love doing and help us create, help us to create content for you guys. And hopefully you find something of value in, in our videos because we are really trying hard to, to bring some sort of fun and value um, to, our, to our videos. So check out all the links. We're on Twitch. We're on uh, Twitter. We are on pretty much every platform or popular platform that you can think of. We have a merch store. It's the very bottom link at the very bottom of the description. You can go on that. We, ch we have our own um, merch line. We are constantly adding our own designs to it. Like, and like, like, like this one, you can find nice tops with our logo on it like this one. There is tops with me and Will kind of in a cartoony style on it with our logo on it. There's some other cool things as well. We're always going to be adding stuff to it. There's some bibs for baby. Yeah, there's even baby clothes and hats and cups. And it's all really cool stuff. And it's not badly priced either. So go check that out down below and help support us in bringing you cool stuff. So... Make sure to like, subscribe, click the notifications button and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye! Video ended! Bleh.